Yeah, this is for my subscribers, be it one or ten or however many it is. Um, where shall I start with this? First of all, I'm going to say this. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have time. And I'm smart enough to know how to locate resources. And uh, if y'all watched that little series thing I did about Trey King, you know, you notice how arrogant he was, wanting to fight, and, you know, rallying all his team members together, you know, to, yeah, holler at your boy. Maybe that's his little keyword to them, you know. Holler at your boy. Go to the source, you know. He put on quite a show, didn't he? But the thing is, it wasn't a show. That's who he really is. So he wants to fight. But you know what about me? The way I was raised up is, you know, there's more than one way to fight. You don't have to always fight with your fists. I fight with my brain. I fight with my brain. God gave it to me. It works. He put a little something special in it for me. Because he probably knew I was going to need it throughout my life. And when I need it, I tap into it. Like I'm doing tonight. I'll be up probably for several more hours doing extensive research. And the thing about it is, it's, it's not the information that you give a person. It's about putting that information in the right person's hands. That's all it takes. You know. Put it in the right person's hands that can investigate it. Is all it takes. How do you think this whole thing happened with Google and YouTube? This hundred and seventy million dollar thing. It started with one person. It starts with one legitimate complaint. All it takes is one legitimate complaint. Legitimacy. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, which I didn't even report on this until two months ago. I'm, I'm going strictly by memory. But if I'm not mistaken, which I could be, but I'm thinking I'm somewhere in the ballpark of it. Um, a mother was taking her daughter someplace in a car. And... I think they had been to Target and then after they left Target or something they started getting ads on on the child's phone about sales at Target and she's like well how did they know we went to Target something as simple as that very simple thing a very legitimate thing put that information in the right person's hands that can investigate it and who knows what you may come up with now here is the um, presentation that Google made to Mattel this is when they claimed they didn't know that they were you know, getting the personal information of of uh, of these uh, kids, getting their addresses, and you know, putting identifiers, using these identifiers to track them through these apps and different you know YouTube products based around children, thirteen and under. They knew what they were doing. 
they were targeting their advertisers for ages 6 through 11. They knew what they were doing all along. YouTube knew, Google knew. <clears throat> they act like they didn't know. It took the FTC to actually bring up those actual channels because they will go to those channels. I'm going to bring that up too and show y'all. They go to the channels and they investigate those channels. You know? So at the end of the day, I mean, you know, YouTube will do whatever they do until they get caught. Google will do whatever they do until they get caught. These, you, these content creators will do whatever they do until they get caught. These people supporting these content creators will do whatever they do until they get caught. And believe me, just like Google and YouTube, those content creators and those followers, they know exactly what they do. But you know, sometimes you can do the wrong thing to the wrong person that have unexpected consequences you know it's just a matter of putting in a little bit of work and knowing how to get to the resources that you need that's all it takes And in the digital world we live in today, you know, investigations can be implemented simply through an email. That's all it takes. A legitimate complaint. Legitimacy is all it takes to spark an investigation. The Federal Trade Commission operates throughout the entire United States, not just New York. They have local offices, but you know, wherever there's violations or investigations that need to be made, you know, that's what that bureau is for. That's what they do. You know. So, you know. If they have to go to your website, they'll go to your website. If they have to go to your YouTube channel, they'll go to your YouTube channel. You know? They'll go to your channel, take a look at it, see what you're really doing. See how you're really doing things. And then if need be, they can, you know, subpoena documents from YouTube, you know, all those threatening emails y'all send, all those threatening comments, you know. See, I reported them to YouTube. YouTube has a record of that. There is a record of those that I report. See, I report you, and then I block you. Y'all didn't know that, did you? I report your ass, and then I block you. So, since you've been reported, YouTube has a record of that. Your account has been flagged as being reported. And if it's a legitimate report, it's identified the legitimacy of it all. Legitimacy. That's such a beautiful word, legitimacy. Because there's legitimacy in every comment that I reported. Mm -mm. I don't just go around reporting comments just for the hell of it. No, I report the ones that are legitimate reports. And it's funny how everyone that I reported always went back to the Trey King Show channel and the Zillionaire Entertainment channel. I had to report them and block them off one channel and then they find their way to the new channel. 
I report them and block them off of that channel, then they find their way to another channel. You know? You can see their movements. And it all traces back to the Trey King show and Zillionaire Entertainment. Because every video that they're doing that on, they're referencing the Trey King show and Zillionaire Entertainment. So, um, you know, if the FTC has to take a look at that channel, they will. You know, let me show you. They'll take a look at it if they need to. Let me see if I can find it. I'm going to show y'all. Here it is right here. Matter of fact, it probably starts even before that. Yeah. See? Um, Toy Brand Mattel has several popular YouTube channels, including Barbie, Monster High, Hot Wheels, Thomas and Friends. Content from each of these channels. See? And these channels are referenced in the federal case. United States District Court. They'll look at a channel as part of their investigation. I mean, they already know that YouTube knows things that they don't admit. You know? Why do you think YouTube has it now so that you, as the content creator, has to check, has to manually check or indicate for your channel and your videos that you create that are on their platform, they aren't taking liability for that. Once you do that check mark, which you can't, they aren't going to post the video without it. And if you don't indicate it, they going to indicate it. Once that check mark is placed there, they're no longer liable. You're liable. You're liable for what you do on here, not YouTube. And if they have to pay a fine because they were found out that they were were revealing, I mean, you know, withholding something that they shouldn't have, you know, they're going to go in and they're going to make those mandatory changes by way of an, of an injunction. But they're also smart enough to say, you know, we are not going to be held liable for what these content creators do because they'll do anything for these ad checks even though it's on our platform we aren't going to be held accountable for it they're going to be held accountable for it so once you place that check mark there you're saying okay if there's a problem YouTube is no longer liable so they're going to come after you they may or may not, but you never know. I guess it depends on the severity of the violation. But one thing I can guarantee you, YouTube's probably going to terminate your channel. They're going to flag the video. They're going to take it down. And depending on repeated offenses, you'll probably be banned from the entire platform. All because of your greed for these ads. You know, and from what I have researched thus far, you know, when you guys set up these ads, you have the option of setting them up one way or you have the option of setting them up another way. If you set them up one way, then you get the maximum amount of money out of that ad. But then if you set them up the safe way so that you are protected as a content creator then you get less revenue and I'm willing to bet that all of y'all are setting them up for that maximum return 
Of course you are. That's why you're on here. You want as much money as possible, however you can get it. Doesn't matter. But YouTube's smart enough to force you to check a box. Therefore, you know, dissolving them of any liability for what you do. Wasn't that genius? I mean, you know, not to say that, you know, YouTube has clean hands. You don't think they know that their hands are dirty and they know that y'all's hands are, are just as dirty as theirs are? But when they clean their hands, they're going to make sure it's up to you to clean your own hands. They don't going to clean their hands and turn around and clean yours too. Mm -mm. Doesn't work like that. You know what's going to happen? Y'all's greed is going to bring y'all down. The greed of it. You know, like Trey King said, what I do is my business. Okay. It's your business. I just want, you know, certain people in the right places to take a look at your business. Let's have somebody take a look at you know, what I do is my business. Yeah, let's have somebody kind of like invest, start investigating those things a little bit. You know, since you're, you know, if I recall, didn't you state, you know, you were, you have morals and morality and all these things. Isn't, isn't that the garbage you were spewing out to all of your subscribers? Letting them know, you know, what a decent person you are, what an honorable and moral person you are with such morality, you know, that's making threats of violence, death, shooting, homophobic slurs, sending all your trolls after me. Wow, what an honorable thing to do. Y'all are so honorable on here. I get a kick out of looking and seeing how honorable you guys are. I wonder if the FTC is going to feel the same way about you guys' morality. Because see, it only takes one person to launch a legitimate investigation. It only takes one. And I plan on being that one. And no, I'm not going to contact them today. Because I want to gather up everything so that I have a very legitimate complaint. I want my complaint to be very legitimate. You know, including the threats. And, and you know, and I want them to come on here and actually, you know, listen to you brag about how what you do on YouTube is your business. I want them to hear you in action. Because I'm going to send them that video series that I made on you. And even if YouTube takes it down, I have them backed up. If YouTube takes it down, it's not the end of it. I have those videos saved. I'll be backing them up tonight on the cloud. So, you know, you want to fight, we can fight. But you know what? I'm not going to fight you with my fists. I'm going to get a, a few brains together. <clears throat> and let's really have, you know, uh, this fight that you keep saying, you know, the fans want this fight. I know they do. They're all in my comments. Harassing me, threatening me. All on your behalf. You and Zillionaire. All on y'all's behalf, you know. It's awful that y'all are going to let one black female take y'all ass down. But isn't that usually how it works? Yeah. There's one black female. I'm not even going to call her name. See, she has a beef with me because of what I expose about y'all. But yet, every time she contacts me, she's bringing up y'all. 
which tells me that, you know, y'all are behind it. I mean, I even have a video up where you're, you know, saying, you know, give me a thumbs up. You know, I want a thumbs up from everybody. You know, yeah. Go back and tell your boy. Go to the source. Let him know. I know what those are. Those are code words. Code words y'all use in your videos to start your coalition, your campaign. You know what y'all do. You know. People that aren't bright can't figure it out, but I figure those things out very easily. It's code words. They use certain code words to implement their attacks. And even if you take down your videos, I've already recorded you in action. So they'll see you. And any reasonable person, because all it takes is reasonable, any reasonable person that would see those videos can see what you're doing. Any reasonable person will. But of course your followers aren't reasonable. See, it takes someone with objectivity that's not involved in it one way or the other to look at it and see it for what it is. Objectivity. You know, objectivity is the key to legitimacy, which in turn usually prompts investigations. And depending on the results of those investigations, you know, can create federal court cases that will in turn affect the platform that you're on, that can in turn change all the rules, that can in turn affect your pockets. Or you being on YouTube altogether. But see, I know y'all greedy. Y'all so greedy for that money that you're willing to do anything to get it. You want as much of it as possible. Isn't that why, you know, the moment somebody clicks on your videos, the very first thing that comes on is an ad? Isn't that why? And I'm guessing that ad is one of those ads where you you know, are trying to get the most revenue for it. But in turn, by selecting that option, you make yourself more liable. And by checking that check mark, Google is saying, you know, whatever he does, that's on him. Because we're not liable for what they do. So let's see how it all turns out. You know. Um, and for the record, the FTC was working on this for a little over two years. They were investigating it for a little over two years. Before, you know, they got everything that they needed to drop the hammer on YouTube. Who knew what they were doing? But then y'all know what y'all are doing too, don't you? YouTube knew what it was doing and he know and it knows what y'all are doing. It's like it's kind of like hand in hand, you know. But now YouTube has gotten itself out of the equation. It's not going to be liable for anything that y'all do, only for the things that it does. So now that means that you know you guys are pretty much out there on your own now. For whatever you do on YouTube, because YouTube is no longer responsible for anything that y'all do. That was a smart move. So anyway, you know, I'll be contacting the correct people in the correct places. And just like y'all are relentless, I can be very relentless as well. You'll find out. Might take a year or two. You'll find out though. Eventually. <laughs>